in this discussion you can see how to use attars attribute and what is the purpose of this attribute we will see in this discussion before we will start to use this attribute first we need to understand like why this at attribute is very useful in previous discussions already discussed about invisible then after read only and required attribute like all three different attribute having a different purpose let's say required means mandatory field then after read only means user can't edit that field and invisible means like user can't see in gui side and here you can see this three attribute we cannot use directly inside a particular field right if you are using all this three attribute then it it will be mismatch to overcome this issue like odoo provides this attars attribute here and uh, let's see how it's work first i'm going to in student profile and yeah one more thing is now onwards we are using odoo version 14 previously we used odoo 13 so let's say uh, we have one scenario like let's say this total fees if total fees is zero then this date of birth should be invisible then after if we are adding here as a one then this date of birth should be read only or if we are adding two then date of birth should be required field so this case we are using attars attribute so technically we are using four attributes here read only required invisible and attars in field level going to in backend side editor and going to in view part okay so this is our form view of the student and this is our attribute sorry this is our field name like birth date this is our total fees you can see in front and side this is total fees and this is birth date and now what we have to do here is like invisible equal to 1 then after read only 1 and required equal to 1 so you can see right now it's not possible to add any conditions here like here it is not possible to use all these three attributes based on the conditions right like if i will upgrade the module and uh, go to in browser side and refresh the page you can see here like that field is invisible then after that the same field is read only right now and the same field is required but the thing is if i will save it it allows me to save save the record but here is the case like we cannot have the specific conditions like let's say uh, like zero or i will add as a one it's visible or required or read only so it's not working as expected here right so so that's why like we have a new attribute called a double t r s and here we have to use like as a dictionary format something like this and let me remove this one so this is our main attribute attars at this moment and this attribute supports as a dictionary format and in this dictionary format in key value here we have to use either invisible then after required or read only something like this we have to use here so first one is invisible we will use then after here we have a condition this condition so in this condition we have to use something like this list then after tuple and in tuple we have a three arguments we have to pass the first is field name 
then after here operator and here is a values so field name here only those fields we have to use which is available here if you are not using those fields which is not available from here then it will raise the error from backend side it's saying something like that field is not available in form view then after operator operator means like greater than less than greater than equal to less than equal to i like like operator equal to like all the operators you can use here right now i'm using equal to operator and the value should be integer because this total fees is float field i guess if you see in front and side yeah it's a sorry it's an integer field so i'm adding as an integer not converting into string so this is the condition let's say like this but that like invisible this record this field when this total fee is equal to zero let me upgrade the module from terminal and go to front end side and refresh the patch so you can see we have a 200 right now total fees and if i will try to add as a zero you can see that but that is invisible from here like based on the conditions it's hide that failed and if i will add any number of value i'm adding here you can see like that of but is available so something like this you can use atters then after your another attribute like invisible read only or required now we are adding one more attribute is read only and the same thing like this is our key then after our value and here i am using like total underscore fees so right now i am using more than one attributes here using atters like invisible when the total fees is zero then after i am using another attribute read only like read only this field when this total underscore fees is one go to again in terminal and upgrade the module then after again go to in browser and refresh the page now let's say zero zero means invisible then after one means read only so you can see right now i can't edit anything it's a read only and if i will add as a two or more than one then you can see i can edit it like user can add it so you can see right now it's editable it's a read only because it's a here we pass as a one total fees now what we have to do here is we have to add a read only so we used here invisible then after read only now we are using here required field this one is required one two total fees and upgrade the module and refresh the patch and here like i'm adding as a two so you can see it's required field
date of birth and if I will add as a one it means it's a read only so user can save the record and if I will add as a zero it's invisible still I can save the record so something like this way you can add these three attributes in one single field using attors attribute so this is the main attribute then after this is sub attributes which we need to uh, add inside the key and here we have to add as a condition and yes you can also add more conditions here there is no any limit there is no any limitations but you can still add more conditions based on your requirement so something like this way you can hide or read only or required a same field using attors attribute that's it for now in case you have any doubt or query please comment below and see you in next session